Can somebody please calm him down, please? Okay, apparently we don't talk about Io anymore. Or, yep. How dare you, Io? I hope you're watching this video. Hey, hey, start, look, look at me when I'm talking to you, Io. If you're watching this video, I hope you're happy. You broke Kevin's heart. How dare you broke the fan favorite's heart? Your punishment shall be death. If I was wherever you are right now, if you're watching this video, I will find you and I will make you suffer. I hope you're happy. Let's just read the next question, honey. Fine. Hey, Zill Jr., do you still see Nick and his team? Do I still see Nick and his team? Yes. Yes, I do. I visit them every, you know, every time I get a vacation. When I get a vacation, I just normally go to their base and just chill out for a while. And I do my best to keep, a. I do my best to keep, um... My adoptive father and Audrey, aka my adoptive mother, I did my best to keep those two together, but so far, the one girl I had a problem with is, ah, crap, I forgot her name was. Can somebody remind me what her name was? Hey, guys, the Ultima. What? If, what if your series got a movie? What would you do about it? What would I do if I got a movie? My series got a movie. Oh, boy. Well, I don't really know what to tell you. Just throw it back and be excited. Even though we got a problem. What's that problem? Apparently, my series might come out until, like, Late 2022 or early 2023? Are you kidding me? Yeah, when when our, when the director told me about this, I kind of got a little upset. But um, and again, there is a lot of problems going on. I can't rush them. So, right. Let's move on. Hey, Jean Ghidorah. Have you ever thought about how... about... Have you ever thought about bagging to join your army? As much as I would love to have Bagan join my army, no. Because the last time he joined my army, he ended up challenging me for dominance this time. Way more often than what Violante does. So I had no choice but to kick him out. And I'll never let him back in. So he can go create his own army for all I care. Plus, he got his butt whooped while challenging Super Godzilla. I warned him that, I warned him that he should need an army. To do that. And guess what? Look what happened to him. He got his butt whooped. See, when you have an army, it should be able to weaken Godzilla for you. Then you can fish him off. Instead, he chose to basically go on a suicide mission. So, and he came back about a few years later, and he tried to ask for my help. And you want to know what I replied? I reply, how about you go freak yourself and go find your own army? Just go find your own army and stay away from my army. Because you are nothing without me. I tried to warn you, but you didn't listen. So, therefore, you you have to pay the price back in. I'll never let you back in. Besides, we already got a replacement for you. We got that freaking you know, thousand year tall Cloverfield on our side. So we already got a replacement for you. So, sorry. 
What do you get for betraying me? Wow. That's actually kind of interesting. And I thought by Alonso was the only one who wanted King Ghidorah dead. I thought... I thought that... That's what I thought, too. Just moving on. Hey, King Ghidorah, which Godzilla form do you think is the most scary one? Burning Godzilla form? Or Super Godzilla form? Hmm, let me see. Burning Godzilla or Super Godzilla? My best guess? Bur no, Super Godzilla. Because he literally beat the crap out of not just Bagan, but also my freaking grandfather over there, Mecha King Ghidorah. And those guys are pretty powerful. I would give credit that Burning Godzilla has the ability to basically explode and take the whole world down with him. But I personally think Super Godzilla looks scary, more scary. In my opinion. At least. Okay, moving on. Hey, King Ghidorah. What's up with the King Ghidorah questions? What was your reaction when... You heard about Goddess Zilla. When I heard about Goddess Zilla, I was like, oh, crap. Now, my new rival has his own wife. Because, uh, Godzilla over there has Gorgirin. Has his wife. And now, Goddess Zilla, and with her being, like, legendary Godzilla's, like, older sister... That makes me crap myself even more. Because, uh, if she found out what I did to her brother back in Boston, I'm as good as dead. Wait, what did you do to my little brother? Uh, honey, 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 calm down, calm down. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Huh? King Ghidorah? What did you do? To my little brother. Honey, calm down. It was back, all the way back in 2019. So basically that was like years ago. So please calm down. You lucky King of Thorps. Last question. Have you guys ever heard about Dragons the Nine Realms? Yes, we heard about that, but we haven't seen it. And people are declaring it as the worst series because, well, I don't know. Like, something I don't know. Or because of the story changing and it being more like a How to Train Dragon continuation or something? Let's just move on. Hey, Legendary Godzilla and Kong, what would you do? No, what would? How would you react if you see a Ape vs. Monster 2? Uh. Sorry. What would we do if we saw Ape vs. Monster 2? We would go to where the directors live, and we will destroy everything that they've worked hard for. Because... I am not allowing a sequel of a ripoff of my movie getting released. Oh, heck yeah. You and me both, Godzilla, you and me both. Matter of fact, let's get... Hang on. Let's get Warback Mecha Kevin freaking... Getting, uh, oh, I don't know, Hellhawks and those scorpion things? Or those crab things? Now, let's get all of the MonsterVerse Kaiju, and we, and we go over there, and we destroy that company for making such a god-awful movie, and a rip-off of our movie. Yeah! Let's do it! Oh, boy, Super Burning Godzilla, what have you done? You just have to get Godzilla triggered. You just have to get him triggered. It's bad enough. 
He's already freaking triggered that there. Oh, I don't know. A movie of it? How? Oh, wait. Hey, Legend Godzilla. What would you... What would happen if Destroya was in Godzilla vs. Kong and not Mecha Godzilla? Well, if we got Destroya in Godzilla vs. Kong, we would never see what Mecha Godzilla looked like in the MonsterVerse. And not be able to figure, figure out how he, would he sound, like, in the MonsterVerse. You would still get, like, tons of fan art of him. So, I'm kind of glad that we get to see Mecha Godzilla first before Destroya, Space Godzilla, or Biollante. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>